There's a push and there's a pull. There's a new moon and then it's full. The tide will rise and rise until it falls. And there's a rhythm to. Welcome back guys, if you missed episode 1, Cyrus and I began our epic journey from Nairobi, Kenya to Cape Town, South Africa and after a wild 24 hour odyssey involving trains, matatus and border crossing, we finally arrived in Mwanza. Let's dive in into what this beautiful city has to offer. When we finally arrived in Mwanza at 10 pm, we were half human, half zombies. After more than 24 hours on the road, even the mosquitoes were telling us to just go to bed. After a good night's rest, it was time to explore Mwanza. We kicked off our adventure at Malaika Resort. A perfect spot to soak in the lake breeze and watch planes land at the airport. Because why not? At the Malaika Resort, there was an entry fee of 2,000 Tanzania shillings, which can be redeemed at the restaurant for some soda. The view is worth every shilling. Every time you're in Mwanza, uh, there's this cool place that everyone should come. This is Malaika Beach Resort. Uh, getting here is so easy, you can use uh, Google Maps. And uh, at the entrance, if you're not staying here, you pay 2,000, 2,000 shillings for just chilling, which with the 2,000, you can get at least a soda or a bottle of water. Yeah, and you can chill till the time you want to stay. And there's also a restaurant, and the place is very beautiful, guys. It should be here. This is uh, Air Tanzania landing at uh, Mwanza Airport. Precision here has just uh, taken off a few minutes ago. And it's so cool. This place is amazing for plane spotters. This is a kids' uh, play area. So, whenever you have your family, yeah, you know. The kids can come play here. It's a big market. So we're back again to uh, Nigeria Nige Road. Nige Road. Uh -huh. So we went there, so. Next up was the famous Samaki statue. Now, in most places, taking a photo is as simple as saying cheese. But here, it's more like money. Man, who knew taking a selfie could come with a bill? But hey, at least we didn't have to pay to explore the rest of this rock city. Huh? CBD. No, it's a, it's a, it's a big place. Uh, are you happy? Central. 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 Oh. Monza city is so beautiful. We've been exploring around. So we 
from the city center. Now we are at the Bismarck Rock. It's a really beautiful place. I'll show you guys. It looks like seashells. You pay like 1,000 to enter the near where the rocks are. We want to chill for some minutes and then maybe we go to the next place. Welcome to the most famous rock in Tanzania. No, it's not a giant potato, it's Bismarck rock. And yes, we did consider climbing it, until we remembered we don't have insurance. We were just some budget backpackers, maybe next time. For now, let's just enjoy the view from down here. These are the Bismarck rock, it's named after the German Chancellor during the colonial time was the ruler of uh, Tanzania Protectorate. Protectorate. Yeah, that one. So to get to this place, it's a very beautiful park. You pay 1,000 Tanzanian shillings and you're free to take photos and do anything you want, like swimming. And they also have uh, boat tours. No trip to Mwanza is complete without visiting the fish market. Fishing is one of the major economic activities in Mwanza. We weren't here to buy fish, but to smell it. Because why not? Ah, Odo fish. A scent so strong it could wake us up after that 24 hour trip. Next up was the Rock City Mall, the only shopping mall in Mwanza. We couldn't resist checking it out. It's an iconic location where everyone who comes through this city must come to. It's a place where you can find all necessary services under one roof. But the true highlight of our Mwanza trip none other than the legendary Chips Mayai, a Tanzanian delicacy and a backpacker's best friend. If I could marry food, this would be my bride. And the best part, it's cheap, filling and downright delicious. As we wrapped up our five day stay in Mwanza, we realized that sometimes the best adventures are the unexpected ones. From the iconic Bismarck Rock to the Ambo Chips Mayai, Mwanza proved that you don't need to break the bank to have an unforgettable experience. Next stop, Rwanda. I hope they have more Chips Mayai. Rwanda, here we come. A big thank you to our friend Oiso for hosting us in Mwanza. Thanks for joining us on this leg of our journey. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss episode 3 as we head to Rwanda on our way to Cape Town. Until next time. <laughs>